Wait, Gory's already there? Wait, and they just, they jumped into the draft at the end. What the hell? Uh, Beichuan, who uh, played a little bit when Tien started having, like he was the jungler that that, was, that played before Bo. So it was Tien, then Beichuan, then Bo, and then back to Tien. And Hong is playing. Wait, so like their roster is pretty much this, like their, their roster is pretty much the main team minus, uh, minus Clid. Wait, it's blind pick for the first game? There's no way. Why would the first game always be blind pick? That's so, wait, what? All right, the flash in. I mean, that wasn't a good enough flash. Ooh, okay. Jesus, well, that's not worth. That's not worth it. You lose too much, like in terms of your pathing. So Zen is invading topside now. Support gold diff. Well, he got the kill anyway. So you can't tell if he got like, so he's up 250 gold, right? And in the trade, well, hold on. We got to fight here. This is going to be just all FPX. LWX kills all, all here. Yo, Nubian, thank you for the 19 months. Appreciate it. Lee Sin has no, no uh, kick here. Oh my God. Crying damage. I mean, Gory's not, not here. This was just super int from... Uh, FPX, they essentially fought a 3v5. Oh my God, the combo. Oh my God, that's a Penta. That's a Penta. You let him get... No, Gory stole the Penta. Gory stole the Penta. What? Gory, you piece of shit. What the fuck, man? Faker only has what? Faker only has one Penta kill in his entire career? That's actually crazy to think about. Faker, the most dominant player in the history of League of Legends, who has now been playing for ever only got one penta in his entire career that's nuts oh the rocket to the face Beichuan picks off the support here though it's nice they can get mid turret here but I mean it should be fine here because no one has MR and no one should have MR for a while oh my god Jao Lahu there's no way you missed those bro there's no way that we missed those he was literally not moving kicked into the wall Hacker with the flash, let's go. Oh, he's in. TP. This TP, I, I really don't like TPs like this because the enemy team isn't gonna chase anyway. And then you're TPing with ultless cannon. It's like, what are you gonna do? Why is the support's name banned? Oh, uh. I, I banned the word hang in my chat a long time ago because a lot of like viewers would tell me to hang myself or tell uh, viewers to hang each other. So, all right. Jinx just absolutely popped off. Oh my God, he's in. Dude, package is so broken, man. Wait, did, did that guy not have a stopwatch? I'll can smurf this. Oh, nice. Good. It's free kill. Oh, there's his Hexdrinker. It kept him alive. Hexdrinker is broken. Without Hexdrinker, he was dead here. Look, and now look at what, what he gets out of having the Hexdrinker. He is... He's going to smurf this now because he has Hexdrinker. Just you wait. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good Hexdrinker buy. Like it's not based off your own physical damage. And Beichuan's gonna kick Elk in here. Elk is just dead. I mean, Elk needed to position it. I mean, honestly, I think a lot of this is on Hacker. Like Hacker griefed this super hard. It's unwinnable, I don't think. I mean, I don't think this is winnable. Oh, LWX doing the LWX classic, but it's all, it's good there. Well, I guess if Jinx dies first, easy enough to smite that. I mean, they're trying to end here. They're trying to end and the Thresh suicided. I mean, Jinx is gonna be back. Oh God. 
this was so this was so depressing bro like holy all right so jinx first pick it's gonna be caitlin right caitlin has been considered super op i just feel like caitlin into jinx just never seems to work out for some reason lux on three i mean it's caitlin lux ball lane i just feel like this lane is really like really 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 volatile if you get one good gank off lux and lux or kate gets hooked like lisa ganks it or they get tp'd on any of that the whole game explodes like caitlin lux needs to be pushing up to turret and like putting on their lane it's like one of those lanes like ash zyra where it's really good in theory but it's so volatile that people will just normally don't feel like it's worth the risk of playing it oh that's a kill that's a kill oh my god lwx is the biggest griefer on the fucking planet for not flashing out early oh my god it was so oh they ruined it see this is what i was talking about bro this is why i was i, I put my money on uh on ultra prime it's because like these types of throws completely ruin this lane now jinx is strong He's dead. Hacker had no ward. Did Hacker have no ward there, or what happened? I mean, he could have at least got Gory's flash. I mean, the thing about this this uh Caitlyn pick right now is they took bot turret so early in the game that they can actually still cash in and potentially get like eight, nine, ten plates for the Caitlyn. And here is the result on top that we talked about. If only one person dies, it's like really good for them, though. You take this every time. But I mean, this guy is dead. Oh, oh, he sniped him. Okay, he's still got flash and heal. He can just walk at hacker. I think he can kill this. I think he can kill hacker here. Oh, he's dead. I think it was mainly on, uh, it was mainly on TN, just running it down super hard every game. Guy's yeah, dead as hell. Gory's super dead. Okay. Beach wants is going to get cannon ulted. Okay. But I mean, I think having bit on your team, like, you'd rather have a slightly downgraded version of Xiaohu to get bit on your team? Hold up. We got a fight here. Oh my god. That Caitlyn damage was insane. Wait, he's, still he's got another auto here. Okay, nice. Kind of all over the place. Gory's getting Rise ulted on. He should be very dead. Kellen's getting mid tier two. Yeah, Lux is no flash. Super dead. Caitlyn, Caitlyn and, and uh, Camille will be able to finish this. The problem is they're probably going to die for this. They have TP coming behind them and they have no real way to get out. Like, Eldebuk should just be dead here. Some. Oh, maybe not. This would be soul for FPX. It'd be huge. They got it. It's massive. Eldebuk is instant dead, though. And he just gave 1k gold. This could be Baron, potentially. Yep. I mean, obviously, you're playing into Infernal Soul, but. This is pretty much the best this could have went. GA stopwatch. No reset for Jinx yet. Okay. Not bad. I mean, they did get a GA and a stopwatch there, which is pretty big. All right, this fight should be really FPX favored. They just have a free soul here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. They're committing pretty hard. I'm not a huge fan of of committing this hard into a cannon, but it looks fine. Cannon didn't have ult. Actually, I think they timed cannon ult. Cannon didn't have ult for like five seconds when they started that fight. That actually looked like a timed cannon ult. That might have been really insane. It might have been even more insane than I thought actually pretty insane if they actually had the timing on cannon ult if they knew it was like five i mean they played like they knew that cannon ult was five second cooldown when the fight started 
Respect them if they actually had it timed. Okay, Jarvin just suicides in. Gets his gets his team to engage. Clean. Maybe Ultra Prime is just getting 3 0 here. Trundle picked here. Trundle into Zen has always been a pretty decent matchup. I don't really like it into Thresh Jinx, though. I mean, it's okay into Jinx, but with the Thresh, Pillar is not as impactful. Okay. No flash on this Gwen. He should just be dead. Yep. It's a good gank right before he gets the wave shoved in. He did the fastest possible gank top for Zen. Just red right into Wraiths, into Gromp, into top. It's the fastest level three gank you can get. Oh, the hook in. Hong is just dead. Man, Hong can't get hooked like that. Ryan's level, or Gory's level six. Oh my God. Crying actually snuck that Q through. Oh, he stepped back into it. Oh my God. It ends up being three for two. Man, this Q by Crying, he actually slips it past the Caitlyn and the Trundle and it hits the, um, hits Gory after the flash. Yeah, because he wasn't close enough for the spread. Patreon's dead. Jala, who probably just 100% dead. He actually got one here. Oh, wait, no, he didn't. They got two bot, though. I mean, LWX is getting huge. This is really good for him. Trying to flash. Uh, shouldn't work. I mean, even if they... Oh, wow. They're just... They're TPing on this guy. They're like, what the... F Where did this Lux binding come from? Patreon has to ult. It's fine. Oh, Gory with the solo kill on crying. He's dead though. LWX is dead. This is actually huge. Hey, he dodged his own team shield. I mean, at least the kill went to the thrash, but yeah, this is tragedy. This is like a massive tragedy. This is a game losing play because everything was funneled into LWX. So, oh, Gory might die too. Oh, if Hacker hit that, he might've taken it. I mean, he didn't have that much mana, so maybe not. Powder is broken. Exactly. Yo, Xiao who bro. This was not the time to make this play. This was really not the time for this. Oh my god, Hacker's just doing enemy Gromp at 24 minutes as a jungler. All right, dude. Unless you're like about to be playing for Dragon Soul, what Hacker is doing right now is literally the most illegal shit. It's 24 minutes and you're just letting them get a free Baron. Super illegal. Just smite it, bro. They'll have like a bigger voice in certain situations. Oh my god, LWX just ulted into the whole enemy team. Or uh, Gale Force into the whole enemy team. And it worked. Let's go, baby. So, so this is when I think that FPX's team comp is super broken, by the way. This is what I was talking about, about, about how much space they control once they get ahead. Look at how Ultra Prime has the place. Like, how do they get in? Look at all the shit they have to deal with. Five Kate traps, and ball, Lux Qs, Lux Es, Trundle Pillar. Like, how do you do anything if you're not ahead enough where they can't enter? If they ever get into this 50-50 this situation, you're just just ff give up it's so easy for them to siege too dude what is ld why does lwx have this hex trick i mean i guess it's, a, it's whatever man I, I, you know what i think is better than this hex trinker though i think it's literally just better to buy negatron it's cheaper too i actually think it's just better considering like because you have to consider how much effective hp lwx can have right like he has heal from from Lux, he has Lux shield and he has um Ori shield. Like I think he has enough effective HP that Negatron is just better 100% of the time, math wise. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a GG angle.
<laughs> Took his head off. All right, 3-0 for FPX.